Hi everybody and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Sunday the 12th of June 2022. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to use the Toth Tarot for today's reading. Let's see what the cards have to say about Sunday and what energy you'll be working with. So let's have a look. I'm going to choose three cards today. First we've got Adjustment. The eighth card in the Major Arcana, which is usually Strength, but in this deck they've switched it. Strength and Justice, so eight. Then we have the Emperor. And the Princess of Cups. Okay. So we had Justice recently, and it was a standing stone out in nature, and it was about this place of inner equilibrium that allows you to take action. And here today, we've got the Justice card again. So I feel that that theme continues, but it's different in this deck. So instead of 11, which is the master number of service, this is eight, which is about strength. And instead of it saying justice or balance, it says adjustment. So it's the ability to take things which are unbalanced and to balance them by using your own intellectual strength. So we've got this sword here, which is about the way you think and communicate and see things. And eight is strength. And I mean, the one thing I think that I can say about the justice card, which is true, is that this person doling out justice is strong in the sense that they have studied the law and they're working within that system. And by using the system and applying it, this judge can say absolutely one way or another, Guilty, not gu guilty. Successful, not successful. So with your ability to kind of adjust your own circumstances, it means that anything that's outside of your control that you haven't been able to make sense of intellectually, or particularly any aspect of your life where you feel powerless, you're able to look at that today, understand it, and then work with it to your advantage. So you're in an absolute position of power here. And the, the message I'm getting more so than anything else is that you have the ability to change the way you think. So if you feel like, oh, you know, I'm an anxious person and generalized anxiety is something I've, I deal with and I've always dealt with, this card comes along a few days ago and today. And it says, do you know what? You're a spiritual being and you can be whatever it is you want to be. If you start to affirm or you start to think that I am a confident person instead of I'm an anxious person, you can actually change your reality by doing that. It's as simple as that. You start to think of yourself differently and then your body responds and it adjusts things so that that's what you actually end up with. So it's not about judging yourself as in, oh, you're good, you're bad, you know, and kind of dismissing you and writing you off. It's very much about, I identify what is out of balance in my life, and I have the strength to balance it out. And that applies to me, my environment, the world, the way I see everything. In my experience, you know, if you really dislike something, like I dislike this job or I dislike where I'm living or I dislike the people around me, it, it welds you to that other person or place or thing. It's, seriously, like in my experience, like disliking something, even hating something, that is like signing your life away to that thing, basically. So it isn't about how that other person responds to your feelings or anything like that. It's what resentment and anger and dissatisfaction, what it does to you, i.e. it keeps you stuck and trapped. So the solution is to accept whatever it is that is out of balance in your life, to try and find one good thing about it. So if you don't like where you live, is there one part of the building that you like? The steps on the entrance? Or do you like um, your windows, the size they are? Or that you're able to fit in a double bed? Or whatever it may be. It's about picking one thing that you like and then expanding that and building on that. So it's uh, definitely about changing your mindset. Then we have the Emperor. The Emperor is the fourth card in the Major Arcana. 
So half of the eight, which is interesting, four in numerology is about structure and security. The emperor is a figure of authority. It's someone who's in charge. He's a figure of, he, he's a, he's a, um, in a position of authority and leadership. You can see all the red and yellow. So it's about taking control. Then we have the rams here and the ram is Aries. Aries in astrology is the first sign of the zodiac that says, this is what I want. This is my life purpose. It doesn't seem to be here anywhere near me. So I'm just gonna bulldoze my way through until I find it. So the emperor is this relentless energy of empowering yourself and feeling certain about where you're going. And it's this unshakable belief in your own ability. We've got a shield. So he expects obstacles. He expects uh, backlash. And that's, as far as he's concerned, that's normal. If I'm going to get what I want, yeah, I'm going to have some conflict. And that means Zippo to me. I'm going to keep going until I find the other version of myself that I'm try trying to grow into. So this change of mindset, it allows you to not reassert yourself, but to kind of dig around in yourself until you find just how unbelievably strong you are. And it gives you, uh, I'm seeing, uh, you know, those, those steel traps that hunters use as in, out in nature and they have these jagged edges, the metal, and it's like the circle with hinges in the middle. And when someone steps in, the trap is activated and snaps shot. And it's that feeling of total control. And this is what I absolutely want. And no one, nothing is going to keep me from it. So these are serious, serious people. These aren't people who are skipping around, wasting their time. The justice card is saying, I'm making decisions which are going to affect the whole of society. And the emperor, same thing. My leadership is what this kingdom that I rule that's what they're going to experience. If I succeed or not, then other people are going to be subjected to that. So there's a lot of pressure here. Wow, okay. So the, they both operate, they have strong positions in society, right? They're, they're public figures, a, a judge, a king, an emperor. So what I'm getting here is that if you feel like you're outside of society in some way, and you don't like that feeling of being other or you don't like feeling excluded, there's an in. You're able to connect and join society as such, but not by changing yourself, by simply being more of yourself and pushing on and on and on. I suppose in a, in a social situation, let's say you're working in a factory and you don't really get on with any of the other workers or you're new there, you don't know anybody. And you decide, it, I want to be friends with these people. I'm going to push and push and make myself available. I'm going to pop up everywhere until these people know my name. They know who I am. And I'm going to kind of force them to like me. So I'm not saying that's right or wrong, but I'm just trying to illustrate. That's the level of commitment you've got to getting your own way here. And with the adjustment card, it's actually a good thing because you're not becoming extreme the way the emperor would because the emperor exists when the scales are tilted and they're extreme they're totally balanced out so the cards are saying that this certainty about who you are and what you want that's what's required to balance things moving forward and that means that they're out of balance now and that there's a lack of confidence What's also interesting to me is that we've got this card in the center and it's bright red, right? And then we've got like, I don't know, violet, purple, periwinkle and blue. And these cards are much more to do with, with feelings and it feels much heavier. So it's able to evaporate doubts and fears by simply saying, I'm going to think differently. So that would be like, if I'm scared of something, that would be like, I'm not going to indulge fear today. I'm going to think about something different. Wow. That's real. That's a really good discipline. So it's not that you're no longer fearful. It's just you're not buying into it anymore. Finally, we got the Princess of Cups. She's like the Knight of Cups. And what have we got here? We've got the princess. She's got this big gown. Then we've got a turtle in a shell that she's delivering. A fish, some flowers and a swan. So it's about transformation. 
It's about nurturing other people and helping them out. It's about trying to navigate your own feelings and seeing the beauty in that. Oh, so this rebalancing act is possible because you're com you have compassion for yourself and areas where you've been slower than you would have liked or times you freaked out when you didn't want to freak or at times you were totally self-absorbed and you didn't care about anybody else. You're, for you're able to forgive yourself for those things. So you're able to forgive yourself for things you feel guilty about, for things you have shame around. And it may be similar that the emperor says, do you know what, I don't want to go here. The shame and the guilt doesn't offer me anything. So it's almost like you're graduating from negative emotions and you're saying they no longer do anything for me. I want to engage with something different. Wow. Okay. So I have no past. I live in the present and I'm going to become whoever I want to be. And I forgive myself for everything that's happened so far that I'm not thrilled about. Um, amazing. Okay, so we've got eight and four. Obviously, four is half eight. And um, it's this confidence that leads to balance. So only you can do this for yourself. Number wise, oh, and then the, the knight, which is always on the fence, that's a different type of balance. So it's because you're emotionally fluid, you're emotionally adaptable. That's what allows the compassion and the self-forgiveness. Okay, so number wise, we've got eight and four is 12, and one is 13. One and three is four, and four is the emperor. It's structure and security. So you can build a different palace, a different temple, can explore inner, different inner landscapes, different ways of existing on planet Earth. Right, so this is a uh, second or third or fourth or fifth chance. Hooray. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. On the front page, click on book your reading to order your reading with me. I use the tarot, astrology, and numerology in my personal reading. So if you want me to draw up your birth chart, I need your place of birth, date of birth, and time of birth. If you don't have the time of birth, then order a chart rectification with me. That's a process where I work out your time of birth. And then I have a snapshot of this guy at the moment you were born. And if you have any questions about your life purpose, relationships, um, personal development, moving, finances, home life, anything at all, please do get in touch with me for a personal reading. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, please hit subscribe and share the video online. Have an amazing day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.